Hi everyone, good evening. My name is Bethany Shipley and I'm currently hiding away in my parents' room. We're in Florida for the month and I have two precious little children. Well, I have three actually, but um, one of them is at the grocery store with my husband. One is outside that door watching Baby Shark <laughs> with my dad and then my four-year-old is downstairs. Um, so if you hear pounding on the door, know that I am real life with you right now. <laughs> and so I'm super happy that you're here. Um, I'm seeing a bunch of familiar faces and names pop up. Thank you guys for joining in. Um, I know all of you so far that I see, but um, for those who may be joining us in a little bit who maybe don't know me yet, baby shark. <laughs> we actually got to see a shark today, which was super awesome. Um, no, for those who I don't know yet, my name is Bethany, and I am so honored that you're here. Um, I usually live in Kansas City, Missouri. I have, again, three kids. I'm married to Eli. He loves CrossFit. Together, we do Young Living. I mean, I really do the Young Living like business side more. I share more oils, talk about oils. He does a lot of CrossFit takes care of our kids and together we're a team in life and um, I got hooked up with these oils in a really interesting way I wasn't necessarily looking for them I didn't even know that I was looking for them but I had a miscarriage and like many people I guess I've heard a statistic recently that's like what one in four women miscarry I didn't know it was super common back then but I remember walking out of that appointment tears streaming down my face totally shocked. I was super healthy. I thought that how could this happen to me? I eat right. I work out. I thought that's all there was to health. And, um, it, it wasn't. And I didn't know that at that time. And I remember walking out and I intentionally said, what am I supposed to learn from this? I know there's something for me here to learn. And that next day or the day after I was coaching volleyball and a woman approached me, a mom of one of the girls I was coaching, and she said, um, hi, my name's Jordan. And I said, hi, I'm Bethany. And she said, are you a mom? And that question really got me. You know, it really, um, when she asked that, it was the first time someone had asked that. It was the first time that I had met someone after having a miscarriage. And I just said, you know, I don't know if I'm a mom. I just miscarried and um, I, I just was... I was torn up, you know, and I still hadn't delivered the baby. And so she said, she met me there in that moment. And she said, um, I also have miscarried eight times. And this is my daughter, Calvary. And she introduced her little baby girl, Calvary, who was 10 months old at the time. And I just was amazed. I was like, wow, how she, how she could go through eight miscarriages and, and then have a little baby. You know, she was a, a living, walking representation of hope for me in that moment. So she invited me over to her house. She wanted to talk about essential oils. She asked me if I had ever heard of essential oils and I was immediately thought of like olive oil or coconut oil. You know, I had no idea and um, I was really wrong. She sat me down at her kitchen table with this huge book and I was reading through it. She asked me if I'd ever heard of Young Living. I remember her talking about farms. I remember her talking about like certain ailments, but I really just nothing. I didn't really exactly know what essential oils were even leaving her house. I was just so, ex I was so like really overwhelmed. I think that was the word and she did a great job. It wasn't about that. It was just, I was like looking through a book and I'm bad at multitasking. So I was listening to her. So anyway, she told me to call into a class. She said, call this number at 7 PM. Listen to me teach a class about essential oils. And she went through, um, a 20, 30 minute presentation about essential oils that changed my life. And one thing that I remember her saying in that call was if you are using deodorant, that's from the grocery store, it absolutely contains toxic chemicals that are contributing to your hormones, disrupting your hormone function and messing up the way it was working. And I thought, okay, wow, well, that's one thing I know I can do. And I, I had remember her telling me at her house that her husband actually made, she had made deodorant or she, maybe she was in the process of making deodorant actually making deodorant with like arrowroot powder and coconut oil and okay Jessica three heavenly babies for me too so I'm with you sister so um, she was making a deodorant with like coconut oil um, I think she was making it with some arrowroot powder and then she was putting like cypress and then a blend of essential oils called purification and I was like cool so hearing that statistic about you like the deodorant being bad for me and then realizing if I get oils I can make my own deodorant and I was all about like penny pinching and saving money so I was like that sounds like a great deal so I got this kit of oils it arrived at my house I was completely overwhelmed you guys I used my purification I made some deodorant and that was kind of the only thing that I switched out right then 
A year later, I was blessed with a beautiful baby boy who's the four-year-old downstairs. His name is Moses Jordan, and he's amazing. He's so cool. I love telling people about my kids. I'm like a, a normal, typical, dorky mom. I'm like, I gotta tell you about my kid. And then I have to say, no, that's not what this is about. <laughs> um, but I had this beautiful baby boy, and we brought him home from the hospital, and he was pretty healthy coming out, but a few days into his life, he was not doing so great. He had a, um, he had a few things that were not working well and some of his levels according to his blood work were off and so they were going to have us go into the hospital and re, re uh, admit him and I was like oh my goodness no <laughs> I didn't know what to do you know how it is being a first time mom you're like okay I have no idea what to do I mean I laugh at myself you guys I literally brought, I brought a little rattler to the hospital thinking he would play with it like I had no idea what I was doing and I still laugh about that to, to this day but I'm sitting there on the floor with my son and I'm like no I'm doing everything I can and I remembered oh I have this tool I have this essential oils so I went to Google like any good mom does I typed in essential oils for the specific problem that he had and it came up with a suggestion of lavender and so I used lavender a little bit in my hand with coconut oil and I put it on his body I didn't measure I didn't you know I wasn't thinking in fear or anything like that I just literally rubbed it down and I watched my son be completely transformed I watched his body be he um supported in that moment and it was really crazy my mom was there and I remember looking over at my mom my jaw was on the floor because he had immediate um he immediately uh, had a bowel movement he urinated he sneezed it was like his body was getting rid of what we didn't want in it and we just both were in amazement and sure enough the next day we went got his blood work done it confirmed that everything that I saw absolutely was true and that was the moment that was a year after I first got my oils that was the moment that I really was wowed and I realized there's power to these plants and so um, so that's how I got started and now I'm on a journey of sharing that with other people and I'm committed and very very passionate about helping people be empowered in life and whether that looks like for you tonight talking about how to empower your health or how to power your wellness through using essential oils or if it's a further conversation between you and I about how to empower yourself in financial freedom how to use this tool and actually create residual income for yourself wherever you are in that spectrum I'm excited to do that with you so what are essential oils <laughs> I have a little cheat sheet here um, because I'm not an aromatherapist you guys I have I'm, I'm a mom who's committed to helping other people so if you're watching this video I want you to know you can get the same resources I'm getting. You can have the same book I'm reading and you can be empowered to teach people the same way I'm doing it. All you need is yourself, passion, and experience. And everyone can have experiences with these oils. Just wait till I tell you about them. Okay, so what are essential oils? So essential oils are the most powerful part of the plant. They're called essential oils because they're actually essential for the plant to live. They are the volatile liquid that travels within a plant to bring oxygen, nutrients, and all sorts of stuff to infection sites or sites that have been you know, cut off. Imagine like a little peppermint plant and the leaf gets torn off. Isn't it so amazing that a peppermint plant can literally regrow another leaf? How cool that when we extract that beautiful volatile liquid, we take it out of that plant in a very, very precious way. I'm gonna talk about that. We can use it on the human body. This is the craziest thing. Don't you know and don't you resonate with this that we are connected to nature, whether we like it or not. Think about everything that we use that is connected to nature. My son, Mac, who's three months old, which by the way is like a total miracle story. I have to tell you about it sometime. His birth and his conception and his sustaining in my, la in my belly was just incredible. Like, oh my gosh, power of plants. Every night he goes to sleep with a sound machine that mimics ocean waves. That is the most calming sound to him, the ocean waves the sound of nature. Sometimes he goes to sleep with the sound of rain, nature. When I go outside and I take him outside and he feels the wind, calm. Isn't that incredible? So his body innately is connected to nature. And when I go outside, I feel calm and grounded. And there are scientific studies that prove that when we get out into nature, our bodies work better. So doesn't it make sense that when we extract plants and we put it on our body, like extract the essential oil and we put it on our body, we feel better? Doesn't it make sense that when we eat broccoli from the earth, our digestive system works better? When we eat squash from the earth, our, our system and body feels better 
better when we eat more vegetables and we're more connected to the earth our skin is better our eyesight's better when we eat more carrots our eyesight's get better when our hair gets thicker and we become stronger the more connected to the earth we are the stronger and healthier we are the two were meant to work together so when we're talking about essential oils don't feel like it's weird and like hippie it's actually been around since way 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 back so like well first, first let me tell you there's three main ways to get oils in your system and I'll kind of show you so the English they actually rub it on topically so this is a blend and it's called joy it's one of my favorite blends it has rose oil in it which I'm gonna talk about in a little bit but joy literally for how to put it on the English they just put it on the skin like this now, usually you only need like one to two drops because that one to two drops goes a really 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 long way it's really powerful some people who have a little bit more more sensitive skin they're gonna want to put some like coconut oil some olive oil on that to either help it spread farther over a larger amount of skin or they might want to like kind of trap it in so it absorbs into the body and doesn't evaporate into the air now let's talk about if it evaporates into the air that's not a bad thing because the second way you can use oils is actually aromatically so when you smell that right there this is so cool you're inhaling the oil. This is, let me see if I can, okay, so the Germans diffuse it and inhale it. There's three different thoughts, English, French, German. So the Germans, they smell it and they they smell it and this is the coolest study ever. St uh, sorry, study ever. Tests have shown oils reach the heart, liver, and thyroid in three seconds when inhaled. They were found in the bloodstream in 26 seconds when applied topically. It's already been 26, 26 seconds since I put this on my skin. It's in my body already, in my bloodstream. Isn't that incredible? So the expulsion of essential oils takes three to six hours in a normal, healthy body. That is so powerful and amazing. And again, that info, those stats, I don't keep those in my brain. I can't remember all that. So I just keep it, I just reading this book. I'm basically reading to you this book. I'm it's using a template. It has like a little script in here. Anybody can do that. So you can share this with your friends too. Don't feel like you have to like point it to me. You are empowered to do that. My daughter, I hope you don't, I hope you can stay focused like me. She's like pounding on my door. <laughs> <laughs> classy okay okay so the third way which I mentioned oh oh and that's what I was gonna say you can diffuse it I have this little diffuser here this is what it looks like um, this is the base of it I have a little bit of water right here I can pour the water into the diffuser I didn't actually I'm just showing you maybe do like three or four drops of oil in the diffuser I put this on there and then I put the top it's really beautiful it's actually this is plastic but it looks like porcelain but you know I have that plastic because I got little kids and it's got a little button turns on beautiful you set it right there that's gonna replace your candles you guys candles are so toxic I didn't know that I used to I used to burn candles all the time I did not know they were toxic when I found out they were toxic and specifically toxic to my hormones I was like all right you gotta go and I needed a solution something that was better than just you know not having a good smell so that was a great way to like switch it up there's different settings on there too and there's actually a little candle flicker okay so that you can breathe it in it actually changes the molecular structure of the air around it when you turn it on and then the third way that I didn't talk about is the French and the French ingest and cook with it and so there's different oils that are more suggested that way and a lot of times they have like a little white label so for example example I'll go through this real quick there's a lemon right here there's a lemon oil and this is just regular yellow label now Young Living actually has another lemon and it's a white label it's literally the exact same quality in both bottles so don't feel like anyone's gonna come to you and be like did you use your lemon internally you're not gonna get in trouble but there's literally suggested uses on each one per federal regulation it has to be that way but there's no quality difference let me tell you something about this company no quality difference in any oil you'll ever find it's amazing okay so I'll get into that okay so let's talk about the history so Oils were first mentioned in the Bible, actually, in the book of Genesis, chapter 37, when Joseph was sold to the slave traders. They carried spicery, balm, and myrrh. And I'm sure you heard, like, you've heard in the Bible, you know, frankincense usually is associated with the Christ child's birth. Um, so Genesis ends with the burial of Joseph's father anointed with myrrh. Oils are mentioned uh, 1,100 times directly or indirectly in the, in the Holy Bible. 
Um, some of the oldest cultures on earth used essential oils. The Babylonians placed orders for cedar wood, myrrh, um, and Cyprus. The Egyptians used essential oils for beauty and embalming, and they have the oldest recorded deodorant recipe made with essential oils. Pakistan and Rome used, Rome used essential oils in the communal bathhouses, and they were even used by by Christ. Um, Jesus was given gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Frankincense is sometimes referred to as the coconut oil of essential oils because it has over 10,000 uses. Isn't that incredible? So <laughs> that's a good question. I have no idea, Patrick. So essential oils were used by the medieval Europeans, many of whom brought oils back during the Crusades. It was only after World War II when essential oils were rediscovered and the science on their uses grow with every single year. So now it's become a kind of, you know, new thing where people are talking about essential oils and it's kind of, it seems new, but I want you to go back in time with me to these people who are traveling, like they're traveling gypsies mentioned in scripture. They are literally carrying all their belongings that they need for 40 years in a backpack on a camel. Do you think those people would spend precious space in their backpack by using essential oils? No, they wouldn't. It would have to be extremely valuable for them to use that space using that oil, right? So it's really important to know it's way more than just it smells good. It's actually what they used for everything, for spicing, for embalming, for many, many, many different things that are way more than smell. Now, although some oils do have a really, really great aromatic scent and they smell great and they're awesome, that's literally the the tip of the iceberg when it comes to what they're good for. So do essential oils work is the next little chapter in this book. And I'm going to read to you this because it's so good. Okay. So the girl who wrote this, her name's Sarah and she's, she's amazing. She says, I've used essential oils for six years. Lavender smelled nice in my bath, but never had any um, significant effect on my body. I used to buy lavender for four bottles on four dollars per bottle online um, at a farmer's market or in bulk food stores. In the United States, there's no rating system for essential oils. It would be wonderful if there were because you know it, then you'd know what you were buying. If you walk into a grocery store and you look at a box of cereal, you'll see nutrition facts on the side. There are literally no nutrition facts on the side of essential oils. So that means you have to trust the source and you have to know the company that you're purchasing from. So here's where we get into talking about Young Living and you guys stick with me on this because we're going to talk about the uses of oils, but this is so foundationally important because if you don't know this, you're going to go use oils that are bad, that are not good for you in the wrong ways. And I don't want to be responsible for that. So I'm begging you to listen to this part. It's awesome. So Young Living is a global leader in essential oils with over $1.5 billion in sales annually. And since this book has been printed, it's actually over $2 billion. $2 billion a year. That is incredible. So those that use the oils keep coming back is what it means. There are 3,000 employees globally, 600 life-changing products, 16 corporate and partner farms, more than 20 international markets, 50 highly trained scientists, 12 independent partner labs, and 4 million global members. What? So what sets Young Living aside is this thing that we call seed to seal. And I'm going to tell you about it, and it's going to be cool, but when you go to the farms, which I've done, when you go to corporate, and when you stand face to face with the people that make this happen, and you stand on the lavender fields, and you stand in the distilleries, it's going to be like you have never seen a company take an integrity, like, promise to this level. It is beyond bulletproof. It's incredible. So let me read about it. It's our promise of purity. All of our oil is run through vigorous eight point testings to in ensure purity. They also do third party testing with accredited, respected, independent labs. Young Living has never had to recall an essential oil in 23 years of business. That's amazing. You can trust their integrity. You can learn more about Seed to Seal at seedtoseal.com. This is why I don't buy from mom and pop oil shop. They don't have the team to do the testing that's needed to stay on top of hundreds of oils and blends. Why can't you just buy oils at the grocery store is because of purity. When you, you get what you pay for. I've seen bottles for, of frankincense for $7 at the grocery store, but it costs more than that just to distill it. It's a red flag that the oil has been adulterated. So, all oils in the world fall into one of four categories, adulterated, manipulated, perfume, or synthetic. So authentic means 
the they're hundred percent pure they've got no added synthetics no species no other species in the bottle like lavender doesn't have lavendin with it lavendin is another species that's kind of close to lavender a, a, a authentic essential oil that says that lavender is lavender right these are young living oils they're top of the line you won't get anything better so the next down is manipulated that means that the final product has been made to smell more pleasing and less earthy um, some of these oils that we have, they don't smell so great. <laughs> Raise your hand if you hate dye dyes. <laughs> right here. <laughs> it's not about the smell. So some of these, like manipulated, may be literally chemically uh, adulterated to be more pleasing and less earthy. Some of the heavier molecules have been stripped out or another species introduced to enhance the aroma. The third one is perfume. Perfume oils are not pure. They're mixed with synthetics to enhance the aroma. These oils have no therapeutic action. Like frequently, solvents are used to extract the plant. And then fourth is synthetic all the way through, and that's not true oils at all, right? They smell nothing like the original plant and are typically labeled as scented products. These are synthetic. So authentic is the only pure oil. So Young Living Seed to Seal Promise is the integrity line. You you don't want to use anything else. There are no pesticides used, no chemicals, no weed killers. The plants are harvested at their peak. And I'm talking about sometimes flowers that need to be harvested in the morning are only harvested at morning. And it takes three weeks to harvest that plant versus what they could do in a day if they were only focused on money. But Young Living doesn't do things for a profit. They do things for a purpose. And it's really, really important to remember that. So it goes straight from the seed to the grow it grows they extra, they get the plant they take it to the distillery that's on site they extract it they test it they ship it it's all in house nothing gets outsourced nothing gets outdone it's amazing or i guess no one can outdo it is what i'm trying to say all right so why can some companies sell oils so cheaply most essential oils are sold more cheaply because companies cut corners to save money. If you spray your crop with pesticides, you have more crop to distill. But if you use a chemical solvent to extract the oil, you pull more out. If you dilute it with a cheaper oil or a carrier oil, or you stretch the oil you have distilled, you can easily sell it more cheaply. So how oils are made. It takes a great deal of work to, to produce a tiny, teeny, teeny little bit of oil. 60,000 rose blossoms provide only one ounce of rose oil. This has rose oil in it, like real deal rose oil. I'm going to read that again. 60,000 rose blossoms provide only one ounce ounce of rose oil so when you're strolling down the aisle at tj maxx and you see rose oil for 5.99 you can bet your you bet yourself <laughs> that that's not real okay all right lavender is abundant 220 pounds will provide seven pounds of oil still amazing Still, when you're walking down the, the aisles of Target and you see lavender oils, think about that. 220 pounds of lavender oil will provide 7 pounds of oil. Jasmine flowers must be picked by hand before the sun comes out on the very first day they open, thus making it one of the most expensive oils in the world. It takes 8 million hand-picked blossoms to produce 2.2 pounds of oil. That's incredible. Okay, here's another one for you. A sandalwood tree must be 30 years old and 30 feet high before it can be cut down for distillation. Young living sandalwood trees must be 90% dead before they are harvested. What? Okay, so but a little oil goes a long way. Most oils are 10 to $30 a bottle depending on the oil thickness, which is like viscosity is what, what we call it. A five milliliter, which is like this, it contains about 85 drops, whereas a 15 mil is about 250 drops, okay? So each application is one to three drops, meaning even a really small oil of bottle will get you about 45 to 90 applications. Thieves Cleaner, which is our Ugh, don't even get me started. Maybe you should. I don't know. Thieves Cleaner is made of plants and it costs $1.50 a bottle to make. It's the best cleaner on the market. You will never have a better cleaner than Thieves Cleaner. We clean it with, we clean everything with Thieves Cleaner because wouldn't it be cool if there were no toxins in your home? I mean, I'm just saying. Okay. So it replaces every cleaner and it literally is $1.50. Most cleaners at the store are like four to six dollars. Okay. So are they safe? Certain oils are photosensitive, meaning you don't want to wear them and go outside. 
They will like magnify the sun's ability. And if you wear a lot of citrus oils, usually are, it's like citrus oils, like grapefruit, lemon. If you put lemon oil, you might not want to lather yourself in citrus oil and then go outside because it's going to help the sun be really, really hot on your skin. Some people, doesn't matter. Some people, it does. So just be aware and know of yourself. When you're using essential oils on your skin, always watch for redness and dilute with a carrier oil like um, coconut oil, olive oil, jojoba oil. That's like a nutty oil or an olive oil again that will help the oil be more diluted. You'll want to use more dilution on children because their skin is more, you know, sensitive. And um, their molecules, like the molecules of the carrier oil are so much larger than the molecules of the essential oil that it helps really just blend it in really well. Um, okay, so be wary of putting the oils near your eyes. You don't wanna put them in your eyes. You don't wanna put them in your ears and that's because it can cause like a burning sensation. Um, if you're placing an oil near your eye, you're gonna wanna apply the oil to a Q-tip instead of tipping the bottle towards your face. Just be really careful with that because it's going to burn. It's really, really intense. Like peppermint is really, really intense. So you don't wanna just put it on a very sensitive tissue like that. Um, so, um, okay, here we go. Young Living utilizes all three ways that I talked about using like internally, um, topically, or aromatically. So you're just gonna wanna know the difference between what oils you would like to use aromatically and which ones you'd like to use topically. Some oils aren't really best for ingestion. Some are better inhaled. Some are better topically. Some are better ingested. So just be aware of which ones you would like to use how. And there's like, whoever helps you get started should be able to reference you to a like little reference book or something that they recommend that will easily direct you and help you know exactly how to use them. Another thing though on that, like are they safe? I just wanna say, don't be afraid of your oils. Use them. The only way you're gonna know like what works for you is if you're really using them often and um, early. So early and often is a really great rule. Um, you feel a little something coming on, just go ahead and put it on early and often. Test it out, do a Google search. It's pretty easy to find some people's experiences. All right, so on the safety side, I just wanna go here too, on the flip side, because some people get so worked up about what's safe and what's not. If we were to look at the ingredient list of what we have in our bathroom and our kitchen, Every day, people like you and me put, and maybe you don't, but I hope you don't, but most people, most people in America are using products on their skin, in their body, they're breathing in a ton of things, a ton of things that can really damage your body. So the average woman, woman applies 300 chemicals every day to her body just through soaps, makeup, shampoos, and hair care products. Over 300 toxic chemicals. 80 of those products are applied before breakfast. 80 toxic chemicals before breakfast. Now, one time it may not cause cancer, but if we're doing that repetitively every single day, every single day, over 80 products before breakfast, that adds up. It's like a compound effect. Really great book, by the way, Darren Hardy, Compound Effect. So when you use Young Living Essential Oils, you're using a product with one ingredient, like lemon or orange or tangerine. There's no synthetic additives, no yuck. And if all of this is overwhelming, like it's okay. That's part of why we're here. We are a team that's gonna support you and help you know how to use your oils and give a really, really, really good solid solution. So I'm gonna run through a few of my absolute favorite oils. I thought about having them all right here and then I thought, you know what, what's the point if I hold it up and prove that I have it? You guys know I have it and I love it. So I'm not gonna like go around my house and grab all my oils. I'm just gonna tell you about it. I do have lemon right here though. And I love lemon. I grabbed three. I don't know why I grabbed three. I grabbed joy, lemon, and peace and calming. I think the truth is because I didn't want to have to go out there and like see my daughter again who's begging to come in here anyway. She just gets into everything and I can't manage both things. So frankincense is so great, you guys. It's one of the top skin oils and it helps smooth the appearance of skin. A cre it's a key ingredient in Young Living's Brain Power Essential Oil Blend. Um, which is really good for like supporting cognitive ability and function. Um, you will want to use it when you really want your mind to be open and grounded. So a lot of people like to do this when you're, oh, Patrick, that's good. That's good. 300 times for seven days is 2,100 chemicals per week. What? 
that's awesome. Um, so, so it's when you want, frankincense is really good for when you want to be on your game. You want to be grounded. A lot of people use it when they're sleeping for grounded, calm, mental clarity. Some people use it when they're wanting to increase their spirituality and they're doing a lot of praying or meditating and they're using that to really just be in the zone. Frankincense is really good for cognitive ability. Lavender is like an oil for relaxation. Again, this was the one that made me a believer and I put it on my son. It's really, really good. You'll want to diffuse it for calming, soothing, aroma you can unwind by adding a few drops of lavender to like a nighttime bath or maybe rub a few drops on your hands and rub your pillow down it's really really good for that um, a lot of times people call lavender the swiss army knife of oils because it's so versatile and it's you can really use it for anything like just when in doubt call lav <laughs> 1-800-LAV <laughs> i'm sorry i'm just, i thought that was funny my husband would laugh at me, but today we had a few experiences where I said a joke like that and I thought it was hilarious and I laughed for a really long time and no one else at the table did. So maybe I shouldn't say jokes like that. Okay, peppermint vitality is really good for like digest digestion, gastrointestinal comfort. Um, it promotes healthy bowel function and enhanced gut function. I've heard a stat once that said one drop of peppermint is equivalent to 40 cups of peppermint tea. So when you're feeling a little icky and you try, you know, you want to make some peppermint tea, try thinking about maybe using a drop of peppermint vitality instead and see what happens. Um, okay. Citrus fresh is amazing. This one comes in a little vitality as well, which means the vitality, any oil that ends in vitality most likely has like, um, like for example, lemon comes in the regular lemon, but then it comes in a vitality. And do you remember earlier in this video how I told you it really doesn't matter like which one, or I don't, not that it doesn't matter, but the quality is the same. So they have a label for each one. So when I'm telling you the suggestions for the vitality, they're all gonna be for internal, but you can also Google like what the regular one would be good for. So like Citrus Fresh, this one vitality, you can put a few drops in your water and it's really, really cleansing. You'll wanna use it um, with a glass cup and the reason I say that is because plastic is toxic and so if you if you drop a few drops of lemon in a plastic toxic cup and then you drink that water if it has broken down the molecules of the cup you could potentially be ingesting that plastic which is not good so drink out of glass stainless steel is fine just don't do it out of plastic um, nice rule of thumb okay thieves vitality um, this oil, Thieves, is so legit. And that's why I told you about the Thieves Cleaner. Thieves got its name because apparently during the Black Plague, there was a group of bandits that were robbing the homes of the dead and dying. And they weren't getting sick. And they were breathing in a, basically, a bong of all these herbs. And when Gary Young heard about it, he was like, we should make an essential oil blend with those same herbs. So he created that and then it went totally viral. <laughs> And uh, a lot of people use thieves. It's amazing. So it's really good for immune support. And you'll want to just make sure you use it when you're trying to have overall wellness and you're trying to feel really, really good. Um, you can add like a few drops of thieves vitality to like some warm water, maybe even some hot water with a little bit of honey and that'll be really really good for your throat. You're going to feel good after it'll really turn things around. Stress away is like a beach in a bottle and it has like the most amazing aromatic smell you've ever smelled I use it all the time I rubbed it on my baby um, last night because I really needed him to sleep I was so tired he's three months old so I put it on his feet but it's got like vanilla and lime and copaiba and it's just like one of the most amazing smells ever you'll love it peace and calming is another one that also is it all of this that I'm telling you is coming like it comes in a beautiful kit that is like this most gorgeous display and it comes with like this diffuser that I'm showing you all for $165 so I forgot to tell you that ahead of time I I wanted to like get that out there but I forgot to tell you before I started with the oils but these oils literally are amazing and it all comes for $165 which is just amazing so generous if you totaled up all of this individually it would be over $400 so so cool. Okay, so lim so I already talked about stress away. I talked about peace and calming. You put peace and calming in your diffuser. You'll want to use it whenever you want somebody to sleep hard and sleep fast. So we do that for our kids all the time. Actually, peace and calming mixed with frankincense is my husband's like favorite blend for sleep. We do it in the diffuser like every night at home. It's amazing. We all sleep good. Okay, 
Lemon Vitality, which I already mentioned, I drink Lemon Vitality in my water. Um, I use Lemon Vitality on, let's see, what it, I think it's okay to talk about like Lemon Vitality, Lemon, I use regular Lemon like to get adhesives off of things. Like if your kids leave stickers somewhere and you need to get that off. Um, if you have like Lemon um, is really good for if you have calluses on your hands and you want it to come off, just put it a little bit. Um, another thing I love to do is I have a stainless steel sink and you can do this for both lemon or citrus fresh because citrus fresh is a blend of a bunch of different citruses. So put like a bunch of baking soda in your sink and then drop some lemon in your sink and let it sit and then scrub it in and your sink will be literally so shiny you will not even know what to do. You can practically do your makeup with the mirror of your sink because it is so clean and looks so nice. Um, okay, Panaway is a blend that is like wintergreen peppermint. It's got a ton of oils that kind of mimic that methyl salicylate is what I think it is in like, um, like a biofreeze or something like that. It's really good for if you've worked out. Hey, Laura, welcome. If you've worked out and you're muscles are really sore you can put a few drops on your muscles or if you've walked for a long time in a really uncomfortable pair of shoes put a little bit of pan away in like some epsom salt and then dump it in your bath maybe like three or four drops and your feet I, I this the first time i ever had this i was doing a vendor booth and i was like sharing oils and i wore the worst shoes and i am all about comfort like i don't cut corners when it comes to comfort most of the time but for whatever reason i had this day and i was on horrible shoes and i was standing all day and i like was showing up and so i remember like walking home and i was like i have to do something so i got in my bath and i put epsom salt on the side of my bath and then i dropped some pan away and i dumped it in when I got out of the bath, it was like I had new feet. It was like I had new legs. Like you will want to have this around and use it. It's amazing. Another thing people will do is like if their head is kind of bothering them a little bit, they'll like put some pan away right here and just kind of alleviate that feeling. Um, so um, another oil that they just put in the kit that you are so lucky to get is called Valor. And Valor is... A blend that was actually recreated because <laughs> new feet because people in okay Roman soldiers were bathing in these herbs before going into battle and they found that it was promoting confidence and they were feeling really like ready to go and so Gary Young actually made a completely new blend called Valor that mimics that and it's so great every single day I keep it in my makeup bag I, I literally keep it in my makeup bag and I put a little bit right here and I put it right here and I put it on my wrists and what it does is just kind of helps me get ready for the day my husband is into CrossFit he's super awesome well I mean I'm biased but I think he's super awesome at CrossFit and so he uses Valor before he lifts to like get pumped up and I don't know about you guys but my husband was in the beginning he was like that's cool great for you glad you have oils but whatever he wasn't super into it but then he went to a crossfit competition and he needed oils in a desperate way his respiratory system needed some support and we figured out what he needed he started using it and it was like literally all the rest of his team was down for the count and he was the only one that literally came back from it and that was when he became a believer that was the day he became a believer and if i told you guys how much my husband orders on his young living account every month your jaw would hit the floor actually i will tell you okay a thousand dollars i'm not even joking you because he takes all the supplements because he uses all the oils and i'm laughing at him now because i'm like yeah oils are cool and all that no you're like going and spending a thousand dollars but most of it is because he's obsessed with the supplements he's obsessed with oils he has oils laid out on the counter every single day he puts oils all over his body every single day so he loves oils <laughs> okay back to the oils that we're gonna get in the kit <laughs> digize digize is really good for supporting the digestive system it has a ton of like herbs that are in like indian food my uncle taught me that and that i guess when you're leaving an indian food restaurant they give you like a little bit of like a bag of herbs that are supposed to settle your stomach and that's kind of what digize does it's a really potent smell some people don't super love the smell of it i am one of those people i do not love the smell of digize but when you smell it, 
it does for your body what needs to happen. So if you need to stop going, it's gonna make you stop going. If you need to start going, it's gonna help you start going. <laughs> if you are like not feeling well in any way, it will help that <laughs> with your stomach digestion. It's really good for that. Um, okay, Raven is another order, or sorry, another oil. I was just getting ready to tell you about how to order it. So I was like thinking ahead. So Raven is really good for respiratory support. It's a blend of like different kind of eucalyptus. It's got peppermint in it. And what you'll want to do is just put a little bit on your chest with some coconut oil. It's really intense. The eucalyptus can be really, really intense. So you'll want to be aware of that when you're using it. Um, rub it on your chest with some coconut oil or you can put it in your diffuser and let the you know air affect you. One thing I do too around like October when that weather is changing going from hot to cold in Kansas City and I need a little bit of um, help uh, there I will literally put in a stainless steel bowl a boiling pot of hot water and then I'll drop a few drops of Raven and I cover my head with a towel and I breathe it in and it's super intense but it really does the job okay so how to order you'll want to be a member not a retail there are two different options when you go to the site. You'll want to click member. That gives you 24% off. It's like getting a Costco membership, except for you don't have to pay for it. It's really great. So member is included in like your kit. You get a membership with your kit. Doesn't mean anything bad. It's like you just get 24% off. Doesn't mean you have to buy anything else. You can if you want to, but you don't have to. Okay, so you go to youngliving.com and you click become a member. And you're going to want to enter the number of the person that invited you to this video with their you're gonna want to enter their number there in the sponsor and enroller now some people are getting really savvy and they'll send you a link that'll already have that populated if they didn't that's fine just put their number right there um like my number is one five oh five two six three so if i invited you you're gonna put one five oh five two six three in both the sponsor and enroller fields now whoever invited you has their own unique number and young living will literally thank them for referring you with a paycheck so that's awesome when you get a membership you also get a member number so you can share that with other people too and they'll just put your number in there and young living will thank you it's a really simple easy referral based program so fun and so amazing so you, it's literally that simple so you click continue you're going to want to probably click premium starter kit now under the premium starter kit is a little box and it says yes make my premium starter kit my first essential rewards member i have to go through this with you because if you don't you're going to miss out on a free oil for literally not clicking a box okay so essential rewards is an optional program with young living and it with your membership so like i told you you can get your membership you can not order essential rewards and that's fine, but you can too. And it's, there's a lot of benefits. So I have to tell you about that. So when you're on essential rewards, it's basically a customizable monthly wellness box that you get to choose what's in it every single month. Like, let's say that one month you're like, I got to restock my, my lemon and my joy. But then the next month you want to try the amazing branch chain amino acids that they have. That's like no sugar and it tastes amazing and it's great. And you want to try the three thieves cleaner. You can literally go into your virtual office, which is this little website, like the back end of this website that they'll, they'll teach you all how to do this. You literally click essential rewards and you change your order every single month now the benefit to doing essential rewards versus just like a one-time order like you would do on Amazon is you get product credit back in your account to spend on pretty much anything you want they also give you um, so like it's different percentages for how long you've been on the program so like either 10% or like 25% like I'm earning 25% back of whatever I spend which is absolutely amazing the other thing is depending on how much you order in your box they'll throw in extra stuff and every month is totally different. So it's really fun. So like, like this month, um, at the time that I'm recording this video right now, if you click if you click the essential rewards, yes, make my premium star kit, my essential rewards, um, my first essential rewards, then you literally get a free bottle of digize just for doing that, which is amazing. Now come February 1st, it's going to be a different oil, um, or, you know, March or April, it's going to be a different oil, but depending on how much you order, they're going to throw in different oils or different products, just depending on what they have. So another perk to it, which I always forget about this when I'm explaining this, but it's worth it is you get a free gift at months three, six, nine, and 12. And the 12 month gift is this exclusive blend called loyalty. And the only way you can get it is through Central Rewards. So once you're on Central Rewards for a whole year, you get that, which is super great. So I can't remember the gifts at three, six, nine, but they're different oils. I think it's like peppermint, tangerine, something like that. So anyway, 
Um, you pick the day that you want your essential rewards to process and it'll automatically process. If you ever want to cancel ever, 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 all you have to do is call Young Living Customer Service and say, hi, I'd like to cancel essential rewards. They say, great, it's done. It's super easy. Um, if any of you ever want to cancel and you don't even want to call in, just message me and I'll call and cancel for you. But the cool thing is what most people start, they never stop. Like I think they said something like 95% of people who start essential rewards never stop essential rewards, which is crazy because these products are so addicting and they're so amazing that people fall in love and then they keep using them. And the cool thing is like you have us, you, when you join our team, you get access to us and we're going to help walk you through it. We're not going to let you be alone. We're not going to make you feel stupid for asking a question like how many drops do I put in my diffuser these are all normal things so when you start up no matter where you start up in our team there's going to be a Facebook group for you that we're going to get you plugged into there's going to be units in that group that can help you walk either walk through like how to use it or you can text a phone number and you can get texts every day about your essential oils and how to use them like there's going to be so much support and um you, all you have to do is like become a member and we're going to do everything we can to support you like I know personally, like I, I know personally for anyone on my team, like you're gonna get a postcard from me with a private phone number that you can text anytime. Um, and then any beyond that, like whoever you enroll with is gonna be kind of responsible for walking you through that. But that's the cool thing about this team is we take that very seriously and we take it seriously that you're joining a team of, and a community of people who really wanna live better. And in the process of this whole thing, your life could com be completely changed. Um, and it, you know, when I think about when I think about the alternative life that I could have had if I never, you know, got started, it makes me really emotional. It makes me it makes me feel so responsible and it makes me really want to dig deep and close strong in a class setting like this because I know that the alternative of me getting that simple little premium starter kit changed the complete trajectory of my life. Not only am I so much healthier, not only did I just have a pregnancy that I didn't need any hormone supplementation with, not only is my skin better, my hair better, my energy better, my thought press is better. No, I, I feel great, I'm happy, I'm healthy, I'm, not only that, but I also got introduced to this idea of growth and contribution being a, a very consistent mindset in my life. And that has resulted into how I wanna share that with people. And that has resulted into making this business thing, this young living thing, a business, which has completely funded our life. My husband retired at the age of 25. Here we are spending the month in Florida doing education at night. We just got to feed dolphins during the day. Like that's why I'm so passionate about this because this step right now of getting started with young living, joining this team, doing this could be the very first step in the complete change trajectory of your life. And that's why I feel so responsible and I care so much about this and this interaction is I want you to know that I'm not just throwing a promise out there. I just really want you to join us. Okay, so I'm talking a lot. I hope you have a great day. If you have any questions, message me or the person that got you in here. And um, yeah, super excited to have you on our team. <laughs> All right, bye guys. Have a good night.